Hi, this is Vanessa Joy here with Adorama TV and we are going to speed pose this couple. I'm just gonna see how many pictures I can take as fast as I possibly can, because it's raining and it's cold. All right, <laughs> you guys are gonna look right at me. Cute, look at each other. Give her a kiss. Perfect, hold that kiss right there. Love that. Gonna get a little bit closer. You can kiss her again. Kissing's good. Nice, and then just look at each other. Cute, and then look at me. Snuggle it in, cheeks together. Cute. And then Al, you're going to Put your nose into her temple right there. Love that, cute. Evie, look at me. Evie, look down that way. And then Evie, look at me again. Look at each other again. And then Al, you're gonna look at me. And whisper something in his ear. Get real close to him. That was naughty, I can tell. <laughs> Just look at each other. And throw your hands like right around his neck. You can put your arms around her waist. So turn towards each other. Yep. Love that. Love how you're holding his neck. And then kind of give him a squeeze. Like come over his shoulder so I can see you. Love that. Stay right there. Gonna fluff your dress. That's what I wanted. Run over here. <laughs> Just nose to nose. It looks awesome. Cute, and then turn towards me. Uh, Evie, you're gonna keep turn, 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 keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, yep, and put your back in towards him and snuggle her up. There you go. Love the snuggling. Yep, keep looking at each other. Give her a kiss on the forehead. Close your eyes. And Evie, just move all your hair this way. Perfect, snuggle him in again. And then look at me, cute. And then you can whisper something in her ear this time. Love it. And then last thing you're gonna do, hold hands. You're going to turn towards me actually. So hold that hand and you're gonna hold your dress. And then you guys are gonna slowly walk towards me. But as you walk, you look up, down, left, right, look at each other and go. Cute. Lean in for a kiss. And look at each other. And run away because it's raining. <laughs> you guys can go inside. So we'll see how many photos I got in that short amount of time. And I'll tell you how much time it was. Um, but for now, we're going to go inside because it's raining. As you can see here, we took a lot of photos during that speed posing session. So I thought I would very quickly throw them together in an album for you so you could see how it all plays together because that's really part of it. I went through already and chose some of my favorites in here, just marking them red here in Photo Mechanic. And then I'm going to take away all of the ones I did not choose so I can just see what I have. So here are all the favorites that I have that I think will play together really nicely in a few different album spreads. You can see they're ones that are very sequence like and I'll show you how to break them up so they don't look, well, like this one looks like a slope coming straight down. So let's go ahead and open up Fundy and import the photos. Now that I have all of my photos imported, let's just go ahead to auto design. I'm going to use all of the pictures and let's do a max of five per spread and hit design. It's just as simple as that. You know, if this were a wedding album, I would have 10 perfectly beautiful coordinated pages that work together in an album. But of course, I'm gonna zhuzh this up a little bit. First thing I'm gonna do is come over here to my image spacing. I like a little bit more of a gap. That looks good to me. The next thing I do is I look for some of the pictures that could work well as full spreads, like this one right here. I actually think, hmm, I don't know. No, I like the little road there, but I don't like the flower thing. Oh, I like his hand though, so let's, Let's go there. <laughs> All right, these I like. Now, I remember I told you how you want to break these up. So these two pictures, for example, look pretty similar. So what I want to do, let me just pick a different layout. I'm gonna have one end up being a square like this. That will probably zoom in. I'm gonna let this fill the whole side. 
there we go. And now they look a little bit different. I can even zoom this in ever so slightly. One of my goals when I am designing album spreads is to break up the different styles of spreads. Obviously we wanna make sure not to put any picture, any lines through faces, but I don't mind it going through a head like this. Although, you know what, while we're here, let's just make it a little bit more safe. That looks better to me. Fantastic. All right, and then I wanna make sure that we don't have any of these same spreads. These all look okay to me. I think I'm gonna move that around. These are nice details, but I think I would like to break them up. So maybe do this. There we go, that looks good. And then this one, we definitely want to work with a little bit. Yeah, something more along these lines is gonna break this up really nicely. Maybe that one there, that one there. Something like that. Ultimately, when you're doing this, don't go too crazy freaking out about which one definitely has to go where and things like that. You'll end up doing that and then your clients will change it and it won't matter anyway. So just a thought. All right, this looks good. That's how I would have put together this album design. Now I've got 12 pages from a speed posing session that only took a few minutes. I've got tons of quality photographs to fill an album for my client. Oh yeah, hit subscribe, ring the bell, all the things here on Adorama. Oh, and you can check out speedposing.com for more about this method. I promise there's a method to the madness. <laughs>